This is Bright Evangelist here. Welcome to Win Souls TV. So I'm starting a new playlist on YouTube, or just a new place in, playlist in general, and it has all everything to do with testimonies. And I'm just going to title it Testimony Time because everybody likes stories. But not only that, the Lord led me in that direction simply because He wants His power to be released through these videos. And so, <clears throat> and plus the 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 word says that. Um, we overcame the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the power of our testimony in Revelation 12, 11. And then in Revelation 19, 10, he said that the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So whatever takes place in these videos or the testimonies that are shared in these videos have the capacity and the ability to impact your life as well and I want them to because there will be testimonies of healing deliverance from demons fighting demons um, all, all, all sorts of things that, that the Lord has done and I have literally watched him do um, all together now with that said yes these are testimonies of my life specifically but they have everything to do with Jesus Christ and not anything to do with me I was just there as the vessel, just watching him work or being used to work. All of us have the ability as Christians to be used in the exact same way or even as people in the Bible. Jesus is the same. God is the same yesterday, today and forever. So what he did for those people in the Bible, he would do for us. And he is no respecter of persons. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm not I'm not here tooting my own horn. I'm very much so tooting the horn of Jesus Christ because he is the one that deserves all of the glory and all the honor and all of the praise. Now, with that said, he wants <clears throat> he wanted me to uh, take this little segment or this first segment out talking about porn and masturbation. Now, I talked about this on one of my previous videos and I'll put that up in the cards right here. but. Uh, I'm, I'm going to condense it down and literally just go into detail about how he set me free. Because basically, I started masturbating when I was uh, 12 years old. And I understand that this is a touchy topic for a lot of people. But this testimony is specifically for anybody that is struggling with any type of addiction. He will set you free. You don't have to get on any type of 12-step uh, program where even after you, you, you haven't uh, sipped any alcohol or, or, or lit up a cigarette, you don't have to you don't have to go through all of that to where you know even after you've done those things you're still a recovering addict and you haven't touched any of that stuff in years but you're still a recovering addict that makes no sense to me it makes no sense so the Lord wants it out there that he will literally deliver you in whatever situation you are in whatever situation you are in so basically what happened I had been masturbating ever since I was 12 years old, watching porn ever since I was like 12 years old. And honestly, it did not stop until I was, till about almost three years ago. So what happened was, um, I'm just going to be completely honest here. It, it has nothing to do with me and I really don't care what people think about me. But, you know, I'm, I'm in the business of getting people set free. So that's what this is about. And so um, I was in the addiction. I, I just couldn't stop even if I wanted to. So <clears throat> one day I was masturbating and watching porn, as a lot of people do. And um, after I got done this particular time, I just felt so dirty. I had tried to stop before and I, the most that I had ever been able to do was maybe like two weeks or uh, maybe like, you know, three, two and a half weeks. And then I get right back to it. But this particular time, I just felt so dirty. I had I had been reading the word, but honestly, uh, I had I hadn't really been living the word. And there's a difference. That that is true worship, which is surrendering to the lordship of God and and making it not just a church service, but literally, you are living the word. Be doers of the word, not just listeners. You know what I'm saying? And so. Um, you know, I, I was just I was just reading the word. It was a consistent thing in my life. But this particular time, I just felt so dirty. And I said, Lord, hey, I can't stop. 
please send me help. And I'm thinking, you know, he gonna send me, he gonna bring like a 12 step program to me, give me some help, you know, bring me, bring me to a place to where I can uh, be counseled through these things. All day, you know, periodically throughout the day, as much as I could think of it, I just kept saying, please send me help, please send me help, please send me help. But the condition of my heart and my words were synonymous. They were basically the same. They were the same. And I, with all of my being, wanted to be set free. And that's one of the most important things. You, with all of your being, have to want to be set free. You can't just say it with your mouth, but your heart is something else entirely. So um, your heart and your mind and, 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 your, and your thinking is, is something else entirely. And, um, and so I really meant it. I was crying, you know, over and over throughout the day. The next morning I woke up and I jumped out of bed and I was like, man, I feel amazing. Like, and you know, my thoughts, they weren't only on sex all the time. Like it was hard for me to even think about sex or even objectify a woman in that, in that specific um, mindset. And, I, you know, throughout the day, I'm praising him. I'm worshiping him. I'm saying, Lord, man, you know, thank you. Thank you for setting me free, you know. But what did you do? I want to know what you did. So that night in my Bible reading plan, you can get this on Amazon. It's like $3. Go ahead and get you one. Um, in my Bible reading plan, I, uh, this was him answering my question. In Psalms 34, 17, this, that was the one that he had me read that night. Psalm 34, 17, it says, When the righteous cry out for help, he hears their cries and delivers them from their distresses. And that is the very thing that I was doing all day long beforehand. Asking for help, thinking he was going to send me to a counselor or a little 12-step program. He set me free completely, and I never went back. Never went back. Never even really had a desire to. He took the taste out of my mouth. I didn't have to fight myself or white knuckle it trying to literally try and stop cold turkey. The desire was taken from me completely. And I never went back. And he can do that. He will meet you wherever you are in any type of addiction, any type of sorrow, and any type of confusion in your life. All you have to do is literally submit yourself and be true with your mouth, your mind, and your heart entirely. Every part of your being has to mean it when you say it, and you will be set free. Y'all be blessed. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know where he has set you free in your life. And don't be bashful because your testimony could be the very testimony that is used to set somebody else free. Y'all be blessed.